Hi and welcome to the October energy update. I've got all the cards shuffled up, ready to go. No idea what's going to come up, but I do know that it's probably going to be related to more of the same, and that is us. We're all waking up, and a lot of us are moving into more of what they would prefer to do. Like it's really a time with everything that's gone on with the pandemic, the shutdowns, it's really a time to examine what you want going forward, right? We're just changing tracks from one way of being to a whole new way of being. And what are all those possibilities that are there for you that maybe you haven't been able to see yet until all this craziness came, until you actually were forced to kind of shut down <laughs> and maybe go within and really sorting out what's there for you. Because we, it's it, more and more people are awakening. It's undeniable. And, um, and that's really cool because the whole planet is shifting into a whole new vibration and so are we along with it. And that's why more and more of us are waking up to, well, what is this all about? Like, what am I really here for? What is it that would light me up that I want to do? How can I be more of service? No matter how that is, but more of service to everyone and everything. So that's what we're going to be looking at and um, let's get started. If you're new to my channel, my name is Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer and a spiritual awakening coach and um, I just love sharing all things that would maybe assist you into like really making changes so that you can live the life that you love, right? And a lot of that is releasing energetic patterns, programs, all the subconscious mind, limiting belief stuff that hold you back and prevent you from maybe stepping into what you really want to do, right? So more and more of us are feeling that and you feel the heaviness of this energy that's hanging on you because it's there for a reason. It's there to show you that there's something more for you. You just need to lift that energy. And so, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> I lift that energy. We transmute it, like transform it, and just so that you can just bring in more and more light, more and more love, and um, be able to be open to receiving all that wants to come to you because we're really moving into a time now of abundance, and it's important that we can allow ourselves to have the abundance. Even though it seems like you're talking about abundance, there's all this crazy nonsense going on in the world. Um, yeah, I am. There's abundance everywhere, even during all of this. Okay, so we got Violet. This, this deck is called uh, The Secret Language of Color. And let's see, it's a brand new deck for me. Let's see what Violet tells us. Um, create a balanced life. All right. <laughs> Already the first card seems to be speaking to what I'm opening up with and, and what's truly been happening for this whole of 2020 so number 45 and um, I can't wait to read this one 45 here we go so it says violet create a balanced life violet regenerates your nervous system and heals insomnia mental disorder physical illness and injuries affecting the eyes and the brain it is especially helpful with treating epilepsy balancing energy and reprogramming the cells Violet also activates intuition, opens creativity, and increases the psychic senses to release karma and reign freedom from past issues. Wow, it's perfect. Create balance and receive blessings from the Violet gift box. So it's like tuning into, you could, you could use crystals that are violet, right? You can use light that um, is violet. You could wear violet. You could eat things that are of the color violet, like um, grapes. <laughs> plums. I mean, I'm sure you can find lots of different things. Um, cabbage? I don't know. Lots of different things that you can put the color. So it's all a vibration. So these, this card, you know, it's, a, it's all about colors and how they can assist you. And so be creative with the ways in which you can bring violet into your system. But let's see what the rest of it says. So it says balance. Balance is an important part of life. It is the recognition that every challenge contains a blessing and every blessing contains a challenge. 
with it we embrace the whole of life okay totally fits with what's going on in everyone's lives right now focus on any area in your life that seems out of balance if you can learn something from it what would it be it's always very important a lot of times we don't see the lessons or the gifts within the problem until you know maybe even years later after it's solved <laughs> so try to see it now while you're in it uh, it says close your eyes and imagine a violet gift box floating towards you when it comes closer unwrap it and receive its gifts into your heart so you can even do a, vi a, a meditation on that allow a violet ray of light to penetrate your body relaxing and energizing you as you let go of any fear stress or worry and bring back balance say divine intelligence please allow me to create a balanced and harmonious life full of blessings and joy so i mean you can do that in the shower as the water is coming down over your body imagine it's a violet light and it's moving through you and it's clearing out this old energy that's not supporting you and it's bringing in this violet light to support you in all of these different areas um, that are going on okay so let's move on to energy oracle I can't seem to do a reading without this deck for some reason it always wants to I mean I've got like 20 boxes of cards next to me and lately I've been picking the same boxes <laughs> so I just go wherever I'm called um, secret language of color that's a new one all right so let's see what we have here with the energy Oracle all right and we get right side up fourth chakra Archangel Raphael 38 all right Archangel Raphael is known as the healer of the Archangels um, it also has to relate to the heart so let's see what the card has to say 38 all right 38 fourth chakra Archangel Raphael love compassion and self-acceptance upright says Raphael extends a beautiful green energy surrounding surrounded by gentle waves of pink to your heart center right so you can imagine having that green and that pink energy this card upright indicates that you now have a greater readiness to receive love from others as well as from yourself it could also indicate that a much needed healing from a previous broken heart is taking place the tender vibrations of Raphael remind you to encourage yourself with the compassionate self-talk that you desire to hear from others know that as you do the light from your heart the light from your heart center will shine with an irresistible beauty and the universe will send people and situations that cause your sense of love and support to grow and grow okay another really important message because that's another thing too and I'm finding that with a few clients they're having difficulty it's like they're being forced into releasing those things that prevent them from actually really loving all of themselves you know forgiving themselves for things that they blame themselves for or judge themselves for so that's coming up a lot so here we have the fourth chakra Archangel Raphael bringing in the greens and the pinks we already had the purple the violet for up you know for your intuitive connection right I like this so let's see what we have next we have uh, I'm going with Colette Baron Reed the enchanted map so I show you the cards because you if you like one of these decks like you you know I use a lot of them often so you can get a feeling for them you can just go out and get the deck for yourself right oh we've got some cards flying out so let's see we're gonna have to do them both oh interesting we have 22 and 32 intention and magic prayer Wow get that light out of the way Wow I'm liking the feel of that intention and magic prayer <laughs> 22 and 32 oh look and I opened to 32 the magic prayer I love when that happens it just opened right to it to me that's like take special note of this card when that happens I think most of the time I got to flip through okay so number 22 in the upright intention it says deliberate clear intentions have the power to change your world yep our worlds are changing big time and if the more you focus within and give yourself that love right um, 
the easier the, the easier it'll be for you to move into new possibilities. So let's see what it says. It says your objectives will be fulfilled at this time. Hmm, love that. Inspired intentions are like magic arrows shot into the sky. There's that word magic. You've got that in the next card. The universe is bringing you a gift, showing you that you're hitting your mark. Recognize that you're not the one who has to do all the work. However, others help you co-create your reality. You connect to the power of your intention, sending it out into the field, then allow synchronicity to work its magic. Perhaps the good intentions of others will inspire you to send out beautiful ones of your own. Own the life you want to lead and live deliberately with clarity and detachment. Once again, it's that message again about, oh, I used to use the same deck again. Coming back to you, what you really want. What are your desires? What do you want moving forward? How are you going to create a life that you love? You know, that's my website, lovemylife.coach. I help people to move into being able to create that love, that, that life that they love, right? Letting go of programs and working with manifesting how to really bring things into your reality because you can. Everything's a mirror. The outer reflects the inner. And whatever you put out there, it's going to come back like a boomerang. So you really want to be aware of those things. So let's get into more of that magical mind like the little kids, right? And just put our intentions out. Like no, no other little... Uh, subconscious program saying no can't do that no you're not good enough no sorry not for you right <laughs> no little kids don't think that way at all it's only the big people that start putting those programs on them and then you start shutting yourself down so brand new world we're opening up time to create what you really really desire and if you follow that follow the joy of that you're going to be on your purpose you will be stepping into your purpose if you haven't already. Okay, so let's move to the next card. 32, Magic Prayer. All right. So it says, speak your prayers, listen for the answers, and act in faith. When you see the Magic Prayer card, it's a reminder that your prayers will be answered. Spirit is always waiting to help you and to heal you when you're in need. That said, the best prayer is, thy will be done through me. Thy will and not hold me. I I gotta do that again. <laughs> Thy will be done through me. Thy will and not mine be done. Okay, so it's like giving it up to spirit, right? God, creator, whatever you want to call the angels, guides. Like let's let's you know, okay, the purple card. Let's have that connection to be open to that what that what, all that we cannot see that is there supporting us, wanting to help us, always trying to send us messages. It's just a matter of you waking up and seeing them. So I think it said something about um, synchronicities. Maybe it was the other card. There's a lot more of that going on right now. Not only that, we're all becoming a lot more telepathic. And so, yeah, maybe we could have more of that union and communion with co-creating things that we really prefer in this life. Yeah. So as we're purging all these darker energies on a global level, um, it opens up more of that space, more of that connection, more of that dropping into the heart to start moving into creating only beautiful things that support you, right? Struggle, the old struggles, they're gone. They're gone. They're yesterday. We need to just wipe that slate clear and just move forward. So it says, conscious contact with your higher power is achieved through the ritual of prayer and meditation. Speak and listen to the divine force within the field of creation. Surrender your wishes and desires to spirit. You may not get what you want, but you will surely get what you need. That's so true. <laughs> your destiny awaits you as long as you keep in conscious contact with your higher power. Be assured that you're on the right path. Oh, okay, I love it. Those were great. Okay, so let's do one more. Answer is simple. Let's see what, oh, not the book. We need the card first. Um, answer is simple. Sonia Choquette. Uh, maybe I'll take a picture of the spread of these cards and drop it into the video somewhere. All right, one more shuffle. One more shuffle. Feels like it needs one more. 
Okay, here we go. Answer is simple. Rise and shine. Shine your light. It's time. Be you, who you came here to be. So I don't know what she's going to say, but hey, that's what I'm saying. It's time. The time is now. It's always the time is now. But now that so many more are kind of awakening to all of this and uh, hopefully more of an understanding of this, the energetics behind creation and your connection to your higher powers. Um, yeah, and I love this violet card because really that's, that's third eye crown chakra colors right in there, you know? It's really connecting. It's, re it's noticing the synchronicity because so much is dropping in. It's n there's no coincidences. It's all messages. I mean, yesterday my energy was a little low and I got two, 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 three, 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 four, four, four. I mean, I just kept noticing those numbers, whether it was on the clock, no intention, just glancing. Oh, sh there's the number. Um, a balance on something, uh, a page number of some book that I flipped to. You know what I mean? It just kept coming up all day. So I'm like, okay, I get it. All is well. All is well. All right, where are we? Rise and shine. Last card. The answer is simple. Rise and shine. Begin today with your spirit leading the way. Rise above the dreary outlook of your ego and let the light of your spirit shine through. See, that's the thing. Ego is dying down. And, and the light is just taken over. It's not all as comfortable as that's happening, but the end result is, wow, you're going to be in a whole new space, a whole new place where it's going to be so much easier to create than ever before. It's already happening. So it says, release all the mental and emotional filters that ego has constructed in your view. Okay, that's what I do. That's what I do every day with people, and I love it. No matter what happened yesterday, today is a fresh start. It's the same message throughout the whole reading. I love how this is closing with that. Begin the day shining like a sunrise at sea. Don't allow your ego to dim the light within you. Let yesterday's experience go and shine fresh in the world. In honor of your spirit, don't just rise up, spruce up as well. Put on your most beautiful outfit, fix your hair, polish your shoes, and most of all, don your brightest smile. Yeah, that's a good one. Refuse to let yesterday's fog drift into today. No matter what has passed before, you are free to create a new day. That's the whole thing. Third, third dimension? Pfft. Sorry, <laughs> we're moving here. Fifth. We don't have to keep going back there. Let's just release it all. Okay? You have the power of choice. Just make the choice to stop looking back, to tell those negative thoughts in your mind, sorry, not listening to you, I prefer to think this, and just think something that feels a little bit better. Okay, it says, only the ego holds on to the past. In the divine realm, there isn't any such thing. The spirit rises and shines and lives in present time. It's free from all that has transpired before. So rise with the present and shine your spirit for all to enjoy, especially you. I would even add, like, in this moment, a lot of times people are fretting over stuff that's not in this moment. But in this moment, you can look outside and say, wow, it's a beautiful sunny day today. It's a cool breeze. I love it. This is like moving into perfect fall weather. I'm in New York. You can show appreciation for that. You can show appreciation for your home, for your animals, for your family, for the food that you're eating. You can show appreciation for some funny show you just watched or some intense movie or who knows what. There's so much stuff to appreciate right here, right now, in this moment. Guess what? Raises your vibe. You feel good. You cannot deny it. You will feel good in this now moment. And then you have another now moment and another now moment to choose to feel good. <laughs> so I, I thought I, I haven't used this in a while. Uh, I'm going to throw it up and catch it. Put my hand on. Inspire. Okay. So that's the word that we have for this month. Inspire. So inspire yourself. Inspire others. Look for things that inspire you. Notice the synchronicities and see how that inspires you to want to create more of them. Have fun. I mean, let's just have fun. I want to be in those higher vibrations. We just, that when you can continually bring yourself back to that, and let me tell you, it gets easier and easier as you do, and you'll find you're in the higher vibration more of the time 
rather than only being there a little bit of the time. But it's law of attraction again, right? If you notice when you're in a good vibe and you like milk it, <laughs> find more ways to really enhance that vibe, you'll have more of it. So have a beautiful October. Go out and inspire everyone you come in contact with. And uh, let's see what happens this month and as we move into November. And remember, don't or don't let so much of what's going on out there, try not to bring it into your body. Send it love instead, right? You see a problem or something that's upsetting, send love, send love, send love. Love heals everything. I'll see you next time. I love you to have um, subscribed, liked, shared, and comment below. I love to receive comments. See you. Bye.